Hey everybody, uh, Lloyd here. I uh, just wanted to uh, make a little video today. I'm um, going to try to start making a few of these videos from time to time. I uh, already made one short one the other day. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to take me a little while to get them real polished, uh, you know, as far as uh, adding background music and things like that. Um, but anyway, I um, wanted to uh, jump into... Um, just kind of showing um, people how the uh, Windows um, QT wallet, desktop wallet works. Um, I know some people like to have videos of uh, how things like that works. Um, and it's pretty simple um, for our setup. So um, we're going to hop over to, we're going to dive right in. And I'm going to kind of focus uh, this particular video towards people who may not be uh, big crypto users. Um, but uh, if you'll uh, go over to vergecurrency.com here, um, click on the resources tab, and then go down to the Zendesk. Now, this kind of still hides from people a lot, but we've had Zendesk for about a year now, and uh, we're trying to build this up into a, uh, to a nice thing that, um, where people can get help, knowledge base. Uh, you know, what exchanges you go to, um, how to install wallets, um, this and that and the other. So, um, but once we go in here, we're going to click on technical assistance. Um, but anyway, I, I don't, you guys should really check this out just to kind of look around on Zendesk um, if you have any problems or questions. Um, I, I, we're still working on it, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, but we're going to click on the, uh, under the QT wallet heading, we're going to click on the Verge Lumos version 5 wallet installation upgrade guide for Windows. And, uh, you know, we've got a few things in here. The Lumos code, the new version 5 Lumos code, um, actually has an installer. Um, it's, it's the first Verge wallet to have an installer. Um, so there's not a lot of info. Um, on this particular page. Uh, just some interesting stuff about uh, just some release notes um, if you're upgrading. Some notes about upgrading from version 4 to version 5. You have to uh, remove and replace your blockchain data. Um, but um, going here, um, this link that we have in the Zendesk article takes you to the latest version. So it doesn't matter if the guys compile and release a new version next week it's going to take you to that to that newest version so we're going to click on that that pops us out over here to verge github and uh, for windows uh, especially for newbies this is the one that we are most interested in verge uh, dash 5.2.1 uh, at least for the moment win 64 setup unsigned uh, that means it has the um, the installer the one that says setup in it um, and win 64 indicates that it's for windows so we're going to click on that and download it let this download real quick here Um, and uh, since that is a unsigned uh, installer, um, at least at the moment, uh, we don't have a certificate attached to it. So you will get this on a Windows PC. Just click on More Info and Run Anyway. Just going to click Yes on UAC there. And on this, uh, you really don't need to change anything if you don't have any uh, particular need to. Just the defaults on everything will be fine. Go through and let it install. Now, let's talk about the blockchain data. Uh, Verge has been around since 2014. We have 30 second blocks. Um, so we have a lot of blocks um, and a lot of data. The and, and this particular wallet is a full node wallet. Um, so when you uh, run this, it downloads the entire blockchain to your computer. Uh, currently, that is around six or seven gigabytes, I do believe. So make sure you have that free space. 
uh, before you try to use this wallet. Otherwise, you're going to get some some errors or a non-functional wallet. So I'm just going to click finish here, um, and let's go back over to um, to the Zendesk article. Article um, going back to the blockchain data. If this is a new install. Um, this is the first time you've ever used the uh, Verge QT wallet. Um, it has to download or, or get that blockchain data from somewhere. So you've got a couple of different options here. Option number one, um, well, I should actually rearrange this on Zendesk. Option number one is just to run the wallet and let it sync. It actually syncs up pretty quick, but you're still talking several hours to download that much data. Uh, another option would be here on Zendesk under option one. We've got a script here um, that uh, we have written. If you download and run that, it's going to download a zip file with all the black blockchain data, unzip that, and put it in the right spot. Um, so that's another option. Um, and another option is you can actually go to Verge Blockchain and download the um, QT Wallet version 5 blockchain data right here and unzip it and put it into place manually. So those are your three options as far as getting that going. So option number one, um, launch the wallet and just let it sync up. Um, it just depends on how fast your, your internet connection is and everything, but um, you're probably looking at anywhere from six to ten hours. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I, I don't know. Um, I do know uh, just for demoing before I did this video yesterday, I kind of wanted to know how long it would take, and I started um, a clean wallet sync last night around 10 p.m., and it was finished by the time I got back uh, into uh, the office uh, at my computer today, so it definitely took less than 12 hours. Um, so the, and uh, then once again, option number two is to use the script, um, which uh, we've had reported works pretty well across um, multiple computers. Or you can just come over here to verge-blockchain.com and download those zip files and put them into place yourself. Um, and there's instructions on where to put that right here in the Zendesk article. But uh, we're going to pop over here, and I'm going to launch. Verge real quick. And if this comes up pretty quickly, uh, we'll just go over some real quick functionality of how it works. And then we'll wrap up our first video. Um, I'm going to pause you from here for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, we're back, and um, you'll notice here I, uh, I shut it down a couple hours ago, so you can see what it looks like when it's loading. That's almost finished because it's only behind a couple of, couple of hours, but uh, you'll get this screen uh, when it first starts syncing up, and of course this will start at zero if you're, if you're going with that method where you just let it run until it downloads all the data, um, but you can also click hide there, and... Um, you know, right here just shows you what your balance is, and you can uh, click on the send tab and paste an address in there and uh, say what you want to send, or you can also um, receive, or you can go to your transaction history. Now, this is a brand new wallet, so there's no transaction history in this particular one, um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see if we are synced up here. Yep. This check mark down here means that we're synced up. This shows us how many active uh, connections to other peers we have on the network. Um, so, uh, you know, why don't we, uh, let's go ahead and um, let's do receive here. And uh, we'll just uh, send some over from uh, our handy dandy iOS wallet. See that coming up there. payment there's me a QR code I'm gonna scan that with my phone here I'm gonna send myself 10 verge to this desktop wallet and 
confirm and send. Y'all are publishing the transaction. And there we go. See, well, you can't see the pop up because it's underneath uh, my little video here, but uh, there we go. Receiving 10 Verge, just sent it from my iOS wallet over to this one. That was quick. Um, of course, it's not confirmed yet, uh, so it'll take it a, take it a few uh, few blocks, uh, and that'll get confirmed. But uh, anyway, guys, that's a basic overview of the uh, Windows QT wallet. Um, let me switch back over here. Basic overview: of the Windows QT wallet. Um, you know, installing that, getting it onto a new computer not difficult at all and um, we'll come back at you hopefully pretty soon with some new videos you guys have a good day